of the law of cosines. Well, to start with, let's draw a right triangle, or excuse me, let's draw a triangle when we're using the law of cosines when we don't have a right triangle. So we'll label this triangle A, B, and C, and let's label the sides with lowercase a, b, and c. And we want to use some right triangles, so I'm going to draw an altitude of this triangle. I'll label it h for height. And let's label a couple other um, sides as well. This side of this right triangle on the left we'll call x. Now since this entire bottom side is b, and I labeled that x, I can call this part of it b minus x. Okay, let's talk about a few different um, few different triangles here. First of all, this triangle on the left-hand side. I can use the Pythagorean theorem to say x squared plus h squared equals c squared. Okay. I can also, using this triangle on the, on the left-hand side, say that the cosine of angle A is equal to x over c, because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And if I solve that for x, I get the cosine of angle A times c. Oops, let's write that the other way around. Let's say c times the cosine of angle A. is equal to x. Okay, let's just keep these two ideas in mind for later on. Now what I'd like to do is take a look at this triangle on the right-hand side. Using the Pythagorean theorem, we can say that that b minus x quantity squared plus h squared is equal to a squared. And let's simplify this b minus x. So we know squaring something means multiplying it by itself. So b minus x times b minus x gives us b squared minus 2bx plus x squared. And then I'll bring down the plus h squared equals a squared. OK. Now, if I make a couple substitutions, I'll be left with the law of cosines. First of all, right here, x minus h squared. Hey, that's this quantity up here. That's equal to c squared. So we're going to put c squared in place of x, x plus h. I believe I said minus x plus h squared. Another substitution we can make, x right here, we know is equal to c times the cosine of a. So we're going to make another substitution in that spot. So that'll leave us with b squared minus 2 times b times c times the cosine of a plus c squared equals a squared. And if I just change the order of this a little bit, I get a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of a, which is one of the cases of the law of cosines. I could drop altitudes from different angles to prove the other two cases as well.